Nay, Trev. Welcome. Today is Thursday, 6th of June. Now, I've just completed my three-day course on basic computer. Yes. And, uh, all completed successfully and I'm doing very well. I've done very well. So I guess the certificate I'll take it in a few weeks time I think. Um, so it's going to process. So everything looks good and as far as I know I passed everything. I passed with flying colours. <laughs> yes. So it's all the basics of learning how to use a computer. Now because this is something that we're all going to have to adventure in in this day and age, computers. Mm. We're all going to learn. We're all, we need to. We need to learn these sort of things because um, it's going to be a, a central part of our lives now today. So, um, and it's been it's been daunting. A lot of a lot of work. Not I can't say hard work, but it's been very tiring because of being in a room for hours for three days and try and sift through the knowledge theory and uh, yeah knowing how to run a computer how to send emails properly and things like that so anyway I've finished the day and finished the course so now I can go home and relax so anyway in this vlog I'm going to put up uh, I'm not doing the milkshake and the smoothies no it's going to be food Anyway, please enjoy. Now, after this, after this recipe that I'm going to cook up for you, I'm going to put up another song. Yeah, another song. Yeah. Actually, that was uh, filmed last weekend. So, um, please enjoy that. It's, it's a song called When the Little Girl Sang. So, please enjoy the food and also the song. Now, what am I going to make today? I'm going to make you a special treat today. We're going to cook fried chicken. Yes, fried chicken and a bit of pasta. So, by using buttermilk, uh, flour, just plain flour, and we need some spices, um, paprika, and garlic powder so and two pieces of drumsticks two drumsticks chicken drumsticks and uh, so we're gonna have a good time yes. I'm going to be using this device it's an air fryer yeah my new air fryer so I'm gonna cook chicken drumsticks in there so it should be good I've actually uh, I cooked chips in there just for the first time the other night potato to make chips and they came out really nice really good it worked well so this time I'm going to try chicken fried chicken so it should be good so all we need is some buttermilk so I'm going to put a little bit of buttermilk in here. I'm going to use my own judgment here because only you need enough to make a mixture to coat the chicken. So I'm just going to put some of this in the bowl. Should be enough there, I think. Now with the flour, I'm just going to um, put a little bit on the plate. So I'm just going to put some of this on the plate here. I think that might do it. You can always add more if you want to. And I'm just going to uh, put a little bit of paprika in there. And a little bit of 
bit of garlic powder. Yeah. Just put a little bit of garlic in there. Then I'm just going to put that in there. Just mix her up a bit. This is to make the coating of the chicken. So we've got the, the, the mixture, the flour, the seasoning, and we've got the buttermilk. You can use eggs if you want to. This is a substitute from eggs. You can use egg and make sure we've got a bit of milk in it. So this is buttermilk. You can actually, you can actually uh, substitute from eggs. So I don't have any eggs because really, I don't eat eggs, really, because I'm allergic. I'm allergic to eggs. Um, so that's why I don't make anything with eggs too much. But anyway, we're going to get the chicken. Now, I've got two pieces of chicken drumsticks. Two drumsticks. Yep. Actually, make sure you put it in, like, if you've got it in the freezer, make sure you take it out of the freezer before you go to bed. So, the next, so it'll... Put it, put, it, put it out of the freezer and put it on the bottom of your fridge until the next day. So then you thaw it. Thaw it out. Make sure the chicken is thawed, um, defrosted and thawed. Because it works better. So, okay, so we've got two chicken pieces here. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to put this in the buttermilk. Chip it in, just, just lap it in there. And then we put it in, roll it into the mixture that we made. Flour, mixed it all in. Put it all in there. Okay. And we do the same thing enough with the other one. Very simple. Just let that drip. Put that in there. And make sure you wash your hands. <laughs> like I did. Okay. Now what we do, once we've done that, we put it back into the, into the, into the, into the butter. And then back into the flour again. So you've got to do it twice. And you do the same thing again with this one. It's a bit gooey. It should work. And toss that in there. Okay. What we're going to do, I'm going to put these in the fridge for about one hour. Just to run. Um, Put this on the plate and put it in the fridge for one hour. Now, while the chicken is in the fridge <clears throat> for a while, I'm just going to show you a little bit about this air fryer. I've always wanted an air fryer, yeah, and they are really perfect to fry chips or chicken or fish even. And uh, so um, I got this actually, this is a Mistral brand, and I bought this in the Reject shop, Reject. So this was only 50 bucks, so that's pretty cheap. And um, yeah, 
So all you do is pull that out and you've got a rack in there. That's the rack, if you can see that in the dark. <laughs> that that's actually comes out. It comes out. So you put your food on there and then this goes in there. But never ever put oil in that drum. You only coat the uh, the meat with oil. Just lightly coat it with oil. So um, that just goes in there. And it's got a timer and your temperature. So that's all it is. So you just whack the stuff in there and whack it in there. There you go. Bang. And the, when the time finishes, the bell goes off. So you can pull it out halfway just to turn over the chicken or the chips or whatever and uh, put it back in and then it'll, it'll be fine. It'll still cook. Magnificent stuff. Great stuff. This is only a small one. Now this is only a small air fryer. It's a 3.5 litre. Um, this is okay. This is okay for one person. Um, if you're living on your own, well, this is the one. 3.5 litre. If you have a family, if you have a family of two or more people in your, in your household, you might need a bigger one. And they're a little bit more expensive. You can get bigger ones, they're worth around about two, two to three hundred dollars worth. So, um, but this is all I need because I'm living on my own. And a 3.5 litre air fryer does justice for me. Now, okay, after one hour in the fridge of these chicken drumsticks, we take them out and we need a plate and we need absorbing paper like a towel or something. So what we're going to do, now I'm just going to heat up this air fryer for five minutes. Okay. That's heating up for five minutes. You, you do for five minutes, it heats up. So, well in the meantime, we get um, virgin oil, olive oil, and uh, I'm just going to splash a little bit of oil over the chicken. It's not great luck, just splash a little bit. Just sprinkle. Just coat it over a little bit. I might just put some on the plate so I'll just roll it in. And do the same with the other one. With the chicken, with the oil in the chicken, just splash it over. If you've got a brush, you can just brush them over lightly. I haven't got a brush, so <laughs> I haven't got a cooking brush, so um, I just sort of sprinkle it lightly over a little bit. And I'm just waiting for that to heat up now. And uh, never ever put oil in there. Never put oil on the rack. Just put oil on your chicken, on your food, or your fish, or your whatever, only. Um, because usually the oil will drip down to the bowl, so that's okay, that's good enough, because you can wash it out. So, so while it's uh, heating up, I'm just going to cook up my pasta. It's, uh, what we got? Sour cream and chives, pasta and sauce. I'm going to have that with my chicken. While that pasta is cooking, Chicken drumsticks. On the rack. Just like that. I'll put the other one there as well. Okay. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Put the chicken in there. Yeah. Now we put that in there. Now I've got the pasta cooking while that's on the bottom there. I'm going to set this to 
22 degrees. Ah, uh, 22 minutes, oh, sorry. 22 minutes. About there. Get that right up to about 180 degrees. 180 degrees. So that's 20, set for 22 minutes. So that should be fried. So in the meantime, while that's doing, I'm just pouring up my uh, pasta. There's my pasta. Okay, now I'm just going to pull it. This has gone halfway so far. It's about 11, 12 degree, uh, 12, 12 minutes. You can actually pull this out. Stop. Just give you enough time to turn the chicken over and then put it back in. And it will continue. So it's halfway now, the timing. So, yeah, so we're pretty right. Now the chicken is done. So, what we do. Okay, now we've done our chicken and our pasta. Yeah, that's a good meal. Mm. I'm gonna try the chicken out. This is the first time. <laughs> chicken and pasta. And with a little bit of champagne. Yeah. Oh, cheers. Wouldn't you like me? Wouldn't you like me to invite you around with me? A bit of wine, chicken and pasta. Cheers. I'm going to enjoy this. This song, this next song I like to sing for you is a song I wrote um, way back in 1990. It's a song called When the Little Girl Sang. Uh, the reason I wrote it is I was a judge at a talent quest at Parks, New South Wales, at a talent quest uh, back in 1990. And uh, so this uh, female singers on stage, so I had to judge. They were very, very hard to judge too, very difficult, because they were so good. <laughs> and uh, so uh, one of the girls won, won the talent quest. So um, I gave her 10 out of 10. <laughs> anyway, so that made me write this song, and I actually recorded this song uh, way back in 1991 on a cassette. And um, so... Here, I'm, I'm actually re-recording it. So here's a song called When the Little Girl Sang. Please enjoy. One little tear And one broken heart Her voice sounds so sweet As she reached out her hand The heavens broke open a glorious sound She sang on that stage Like a star in the night One little tear And one broken heart She was only a child Her talent was grand She had it all In front of the band Sang about 
about God, the old rugged cross, how great the want of the Lord Jesus Christ. Applaud was so strong, a standing ovation, a princess of song. When the little girl sang a beautiful song, she sang out her heart, the angels did come. Her voice sounds so sweet as she reached out her hand, the heavens broke open a glorious sound she sang on that stage like a star in the night one little tear and one broken heart one little tear and one broken heart doing sorting out my dad's garage again still a long way to go now I hope you enjoyed this vlog um, I, I haven't seen so many nails in my damn life nails and screws bolts nuts and bolts brackets sprockets any old sockets <laughs> so I'm gonna finish this vlog now I don't know what I'm doing this weekend um, tomorrow will be Friday, I'll be taking my brother out in the afternoon and uh, Saturday of course I'll be starting off my new short film yeah, it's called The Walk, that's on Saturday so, Sunday I don't know so, anyway, I may do an upload on the weekend, I'm not sure, I may or may not Feel inspiration Hope you all have a great Feel weekend. And I'm sure my week has been a very busy one. Feel so inspiration. Of course, of course I you know successfully. That everyone knows. So, I hope you have a great weekend. A great hunt. Bye. You never know what I'll get up to next. Uh, Look at this world, it is in need You and I to 